Robotics has been introduced into surgery in general for several years now, uh, more in the general surgery space. Uh, in neurosurgery, it is relatively new uh, technology and still in its infancy, so the applications are yet to be fully understood. The robotic system offers us a level of increased security to know that we're working within a safe zone and able to place instrumentation in very tight areas with less risk, uh, greater speed, and higher accuracy. Years ago, we would freehand instrumentation placement, and the uh, error was very dependent upon the surgeon's experience. And neural navigation then entered the scene and then helped us guide screws under direct GPS type uh, visualization. Now the robot adds another layer to that where we can utilize the navigation as well as a robot that follows that navigation in our preoperative plan to a T. But the level of safety and the safety mechanisms that are uh, a part of this robotic system actually don't allow the surgeon to go outside of an area or a safety zone when operating. So the surgeon is, is guiding the robot and planning for the robot and observing as the surgery progresses and then doing it actually manually himself. But the robot is an extra guide for the surgeon's hand. Right now we're applying this technology to procedures that we already do to make those procedures better. Um, but it also allows us to do minimally invasive surgeries in cases that we weren't able to do them. So we can apply minimally invasive techniques to more complex cases, and truthfully the sky's the limit. Well this is an example that Allegiance is dedicated uh, and committed to applying the highest level of technology to patient care. But being first uh, to be able to utilize this technology also allows us to present ourselves as leaders in the community and key opinion leaders uh, for the nation actually, along with others, in where we can take this technology to the benefit of our patients.